friends, welcome back. I know it's been a while because uh, I've been working on my new game as a remake. So, but here's a tutorial on how to use the animated door script that I made. So basically, you're just gonna want to create your cube and call it door. So just create your door. Then you're gonna bring it to where you want it to be. I'll say right here. Then I'll just size it up. Then I'll copy it, put a button. Okay. What you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna want to put my animated door script in, from in the description. Uh. So, uh, yeah, put it on the button. Then you're gonna want to create another door object in the same place, or just search to duplicate it. Call it animated door. Then animate it, just give it a random animation. So I'll just put this to like one or something. Then I'll record it going up. Then I'll hide. I'll hide this so you can. Uh, first of all, I can see the animation. Then, so the animation doesn't loop, you're gonna go to the animation clip. Then you're gonna do loop time and turn it off. Then you're gonna hide the animated door and keep this door. So on the button, right here in the animated door slot, you're gonna want to put in your animated door. In the door slot, you put door, and your opening sound will just be your audio source with whatever audio clip. Uh, I'm just gonna put a random one. I'll just put like metal, or I can do, I'll, I'll just do a goofy sound, I guess. Then you'll put in, you turn on, play on awake. Wait, no, turn it, oh wait. Oh wait, no, wait, yeah, no, don't put on that. Instead, put on animated door. Do audio source, turn down the audio, or do keep play on awake on. And do goofy car sound, or cartoon sounds, or whatever sound you want. Then you're gonna do animated door. For the opening sound. And then you're gonna do close button. So if you want to add a close button, you're gonna duplicate your button, call it close button. Then you're gonna want to uh, copy the door. Then you're gonna make it up here then uh oh wait no wait i can't add a close i need to modify the script i'll probably modify it and make a separate tutorial for the close button but uh, that should be all you have to do let me just check yep that's all and if you're just going to play mode and by the way you do need hand tag so on your hands you're gonna want to create a tag and call it hand tag so whenever i push the button so and uh hope this helped as always uh see you in the next video and uh have a good day or night and comment if this helped